In today's social science class, we shall discuss economics chapter number 30, Rural Development. India is a land of villages, rural background. Majority of the people in India live in rural areas. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people living in rural areas. Since independence, the various governments implemented many developmental programs. Unfortunately, development took place in urban areas when compared to rural areas. If India has to become a developed country, if it has to achieve more and more development, rural areas must be developed. It means all-round development should take place in rural areas. That is the reason our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi, once said, development of its villages is the true development of India. Our former president of India, APJ Abdul Kalam, gave a new model for rural development. He said, he evolved a concept formula called Pura, P-U-R-A, providing urban facilities in rural areas. This, and this can only lead to rural development, which lead to all-round development of the country. In this lesson, we are going to read about the meaning of rural development importance of rural development and role of Panchayat Raj system in rural development and in order to develop rural areas decentralization of power power should be given to the people living in rural areas this concept of decentralization was called Grama Swarajya by Mahatma Gandhi. The rural people must not only be given power in their hands, economic power, but also they must be encouraged to form self-help groups because each village has a different background, different source and therefore plans should be made according to the circumstances, the sources, the requirements of each village. Therefore, decentralization of power, Gramaswarajya, Panchayatra system and self-help groups will contribute in a great way for our rural development. In this chapter, we learn about the following meaning and significance of rural development, rural development and decentralization, rural development and Panchayat Raj institutions, Rural Development and Women
India is a land of villages, according to 2011 census report. About 68.84% of the population live in villages. One third of this population live in abject poverty. Therefore, the father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi, said long ago that the development of its villages is the true development of India. Development of its villages is the true development of India. It was told by our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi. The development techniques that the Indian government adopted after independence enabled only urban development, development of cities and towns. Industries developed in cities and cities expanded. However, rural industries started getting extinct and the rural people began to migrate to cities and towns looking for livelihood. Due to liberalization and globalization, the industry and service sector, which moved us of the latest technology, expanded very rapidly. The job opportunities in these sectors are available mainly to the urban people. The cities are enjoying ultra-modern lifestyles. Poverty has increased among the rural people who depend primarily on agriculture. One third of them live below subsistence level. They are poor. Under the attack, under the onslaught of modernization, rural cottage industries are vanishing. They are disappearing, unable to withstand the competition from the modern large-scale industries. Though 60% of the people work in the primary sector, that is agriculture, the contribution from this sector to the national income is very less and is reducing year by year. Due to this, the gap between the urban and rural areas is increasing gradually. If this imbalance has to be got rid of and overall development of the country has to be achieved, there is a dire serious necessity of developing the rural areas first. Meaning and Importance Meaning of Rural Development the phrase rural development has a broad meaning. In addition to development of agriculture and agriculture related activities, it includes, it encompasses extended development of housing, education, health, hygiene, transport, communication and other essential social and economic facilities, economic amenities creation of employment opportunities along with social welfare. It is called rural development. The rural development very ambitiously envisages improving the standard of living of farmers, agriculture laborers, people belonging to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, and other backward classes. To put it briefly, rural development is nothing but improvement of the social and economic status of the rural people by proper utilization of the locally available natural and human resources. Importance of Rural Development Rural development occupies a very important place 
in the development of the Indian economy. The majority of the population lives in villages and is plagued by problems of poverty, unemployment, illiteracy, ill health, lack of basic amenities, etc. These problems should be tackled through rural development and rural India should be empowered. Various basic facilities like education, training, health, hygiene, etc. should be provided to the rural people and their knowledge, skills and capability to work should be enhanced. In addition to agriculture, cattle rearing, fishery, silk industry, poultry and and other agriculture related activities should be promoted through which agriculture can become a profitable and attractive occupation. Through such measures, the migration of rural people to cities can be avoided. A deplorable Condemnable lack of basic amenities can be noticed in rural areas. The rural people should be provided with essential facilities like electricity, irrigation, transport, communication, market yards, etc. and their productivity should be augmented. Instead of sending the raw material, raw agricultural produce, to the cities and selling them. They can be processed in the village itself and transformed into ready goods, thereby enhancing their value. As a result of this, not only will the villagers get more employment opportunities, but their income will also increase. Small scale and cottage industries can be improved, thereby strengthening the rural economy. The system wherein agricultural laborers, poor people, people belonging to scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and other backward classes are assured of continued employment opportunities has to be created in the rural areas. The facilities and opportunities that are available to the people in urban areas should be available to the people in rural areas too. The villagers should be able to participate in the process of development. The benefit of development should be available equally to the rural areas also. This has to be achieved through rural development. Decentralization What is meant by decentralization? Providing administrative power and the responsibility of developing the village to its own people is called administrative decentralization. Through decentralization, self-reliant, self-sufficient and prosperous villages can be developed. This process was called as Grama Swarajya by Mahatma Gandhiji. Decentralization puts a stop to all kinds of exploitation, upholds human independence and dignity and nurtures human values like compassion and cooperation. It was called Grama Swarajya or Grama Swaraj by Mahatma Gandhiji to make a self-reliant and self-sufficient village. To enable decentralization, the Panchayat Raj system has been brought into practice.
practice. The Indian government in 1993 through the 73rd amendment to the constitution brought into existence a uniform system of Panchayat Raj institutions throughout the country. Due to this, the Panchayat institutions got constitutional status. As per this amendment, a three-tier system of Panchayats came into existence. They were Gram Panchayat, Taluk Panchayat and Jilla Panchayat. And Panchayat institutions operate according to the principles of democracy. The three-tier system above all district Jilla Panchayat at Taluk level there is Chaluk Panchayat and village levels Gram Panchayat. Role of Panchayat Raj institutions in rural development. Panchayat Raj institutions play a major role in enabling the rural people to participate in rural development. They can help to provide the rural community with the basic facilities of roads, drains, drinking water, street lights, toilets, schools and hospital buildings, market yards, etc. Through encouragement of primary and middle school education, adult education, technical and vocational training and expansion of health and hygiene facilities, Panchayat Raj institutions have striven to develop human resource also. Roads, drainage, drinking water, toilets, schools, adult education, market yards and training centers occasional training centers. More employment opportunities can be provided to the people through nurturing the rural productive activities of agriculture, cattle rearing, poultry, fishery, social forestry, etc. Agricultural irrigation can be expanded by undertaking construction of ponds and tanks, desilting them regularly, maintenance of minor irrigation works, etc. Rural cottage industries can be improved. Establishment of food processing units can be encouraged. Through the panchayats, seminars, conferences and training programs can be organized for all the above activities. Various programs like Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Program or Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Project MGNREGP Swarna Jayanti Grama Swaradgar Yojana SGSY for generation of employment and alleviation of poverty can be implemented effectively through panchayat institutions. With the success of such program, rural poverty and unemployment can be eliminated. Various housing programs like Indira Awas Yojana, Ambedkar Valmi Ki Housing Program, Ashe Yojana, etc., can be implemented and all shelterless people provided shelter. Through Suvarna Gramo De Yojana, basic facilities can be enhanced. The public distribution system in villages can be strengthened and the poor people can be provided with essential food grains 
adequately. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Program Mahatma Gandhi Awas Yojana Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Valmiki Ambedkar Awas Yojana These are some of the housing programs. By identifying the old people, disabled, widows, mentally retarded people, etc., it can be ensured that all facilities from the social welfare programs of the government reach them promptly. All the self-help groups of women can be brought together and proper encouragement can be given to their productive activities. In this way, women too can be made to participate in the development of nation. Social and cultural activities can be encouraged through celebration of village fairs and festivals. Through such activities, village arts and crafts will get an impetus, encouragement and the rural culture will get enriched. Old age homes, public distribution system in which essential food drains are provided to rural areas. Thus, in this way, Panchayat Raj institutions play a significant role in the overall development of rural areas. In elevating poverty and unemployment, they are in making the life of the villagers independent and prosperous, thereby strengthening the democratic fabric of the country. We can see Panchayat Raj institutions engaging themselves in all the above mentioned activities and taking the villages further on the path of development. Women in development, the role of women in development. In her lifetime, a woman performs a variety of duties as a mother, wife, daughter-in-law and a daughter. Every man's life is shaped by a woman. She works not only in the house but also outside as a farmer, worker, employee, officer, businesswoman and lawmaker at an equal level with men. Her role therefore is decisive in the development of the country especially in rural development. There are more women working in the areas of farming, cattle rearing, fisheries, silkworm rearing, horticulture, floriculture and poultry. Women form the majority among agriculture workers also. Educated women are successfully handling a variety of jobs in various fields in the economy. Women are rendering exceptional service in government offices, commercial establishments, educational institutions, hospitals, old age homes, etc. In addition, educated women are playing a prominent role in controlling the rise in population. Women are establishing themselves in the political field also, starting from the Grama Panchayat to the position of the President. They are handling various responsibilities as political leaders at various levels of the government. As there is a reservation for women in Panchayat Raj institutions, an ordinary village women now has the opportunity to handle political power and work towards rural development. A notable feature, important feature in Karnataka at present 
is that there are more than 50% women among the elected members of the panchayat institutions. Women self-help groups. Women self-help groups have been created in at all villages in the rural sector. These have been playing a very significant role in organizing poor rural women and making them financially independent. Members of these groups can make use of avail of loans easily and engage in different productive activities. These associations have been very successful in mobilizing savings and in obtaining repayment of loans. Bad habits like alcoholism, gambling and others are spreading widely in the rural areas. Self-help groups The main objective of this program is to make women financially independent. Social evils like child marriage, dowry, caste system, superstitions, exploitation of women and children are still rampant. It is still found in the society. Through the self-help groups, alert women are able to get rid of such evils. They are able to contribute towards building a clean and progressive society. The work, the chores that women perform at home are not considered labor. Even though women work a lot at home, but the work done by them at home are not considered labor and so they are not paid any wages. There is no financial remuneration to them. When the work done both at home and outside is taken into account, women work for a greater duration, for a longer duration than men. Still, a major part of that work is not paid and does not fetch any direct income to the women. This kind of wageless labor is not taken into account in the national income also. All in all, both men and women share the same responsibility in making the country economically developed. Both men and women are like two wheels of the chariot of progress. That is the end of economics chapter number 30 rural development. In our next class, we shall come up with another lesson from another area. Till such time, please take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you.